Today, Veterans Day, honors over 1 million U.S. men and women who have died in military service since the Civil War. There are over 21 million veterans in the United States. And this is one of their stories. My name is Jack Day. I was a chief in the United States Navy. Well, I've served in uh, multiple places, um, so because my career spanned uh, 20 years. So, what was your job or specific assignment? I became a gunner's mate, so that's working on anything. You know, that's um, small arms. To um, eventually, I became coded. Is what we the term we use um, to work on the uh, the vertical launching system, which is the missile systems and and uh, the main battery guns and and everything in between. So, do you recall any particularly humorous or unusual events? That's one thing I miss about the military: it's camaraderie. And of course, you know there's 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 things like that. So yeah, we did a lot of stupid things. Like you know maybe we went out in the ocean with when it was cold and we probably should have been a little bit more dressed than we were. <laughs> you know, um, stupid things like that. You know when you're young and and dumb. But did your military experience Experience influence your perspective about war or about the government in general? Oh yes, um, you know. So your perspective changes on you know on the other end of those um, those weapons. There are there are people just like you and I. You know that um, yeah they're bad guys, um, but we know that also um, it's a human life. Uh, was there something that helped you push through the hard times? Your buddies. You know, you could always depend, you can always, always, always depend upon the guys that are right there with you. Yeah, so um, I, was, I was attached to two ships. Um, the first one was USS Saratoga. Uh, that would have been carrier vessel number 60. So CV-60 was its whole number. Um, that was, station, that was um, stationed out of Mayport, Florida. I spent five years on, on her. And then um, the next ship that I was attached to was a guided missile destroyer called the USS Porter. DDG-78, um, and I spent four years on her. Were you awarded any medals or citations? Um, I had the Army Achievement Medal. Um, I, I did not serve in the Army, um, but I was awarded that because um, when I was in recruiting in Louisiana, I spotted a vehicle that was coming towards me, and it was a government vehicle, and I noticed that the driver was not a, 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 an Army recruiter, and so flipped around and tried to get them to, to stop. The car would have been stolen, so I I followed the car and, and, and got into a little bit of a chase, I guess, and, but recovered the car. Um, I don't know if they ever caught the bad guys, you know, the, the thieves, but we got the car back. Uh, is there anything that you would like to discuss that we haven't covered in today's interview? Yeah, I guess so. Our, our nation is um, at a point where I don't, I don't know that, it, you know, serving um, people find serving as a, as a pathway, you know, um, so I guess I just feel like their their patriotism um, is is falling to the wayside, and you know I would just I would just hope that you know someone that's that's um, hearing this would uh, maybe give them encouragement to 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 join a service and do it for the right reason. That's what I tell my boys. I've got I've got a son that served in the army, and I've got another one that's on active duty Navy right now. You know, and it was always. Um, Hey, do it for the right reason. The right reason is not to go get a college education. You know, those those things right. are great, but um, go out and serve your country. So I, I, I like, you know, JFK said, um, not ask what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So I, I, I just really, I think that is important. I think we need people that are willing to step up and serve and 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 serve the country for the right reason. So. I, Richard M. Nixon, solemnly swear that I. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, Jimmy Carter, do solemnly swear. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I... I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. I will faithfully execute... The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all its enemies, foreign and domestic. So help me God.